Hello! In this video, I'm going to outline and demonstrate multi-tenancy in Scrutinizer so that I can create login accounts that can only see certain information. Let's get started. Let's first create a new login. Click on the Admin tab, then select Security and User Accounts. Click on New User and enter their username and password. I'll just give this account my name, but you can of course call it whatever you want. Now click on the new user account to pull up their settings. Maybe this is an overseas user, so they need to view everything in French, so I'll change their language. I can also change all of these default settings, so maybe I'd like to make their default tab the map tab. The default map is whatever map I'll give them, and we'll get to those permissions later. And by default, they have access to all the maps because this new account is automatically a guest and inherits guest permissions. You can change more in these settings, but I'm going to go ahead and save now. This person will log in, see everything in French, and will be under the Map tab. Now let's create a user group. Again, you can name it whatever you want. Then click on that user group to begin editing it. Let's start by going into the settings. Anyone who's a member of this user group will be able to see the dashboard, but maybe I don't want that, so I'll uncheck it. I definitely don't want them seeing the Alarms tab, and I don't want them to have any administrative functionality. That looks good. So I'll save that, and let's go to Device Status Next. I don't want anyone who has this user group permission to be able to see any of the statuses of any of my devices. Essentially, I don't want them to see which routers Scrutinizer is receiving NetFlow from. So anything in the green box, I would just select and click Remove. Next, click on the Interface Statistics. I'm going to allow this specific user group to see one interface, and this is the one right here. I'll select it and click Add. Now they'll be able to see the interface, but not the status of the device itself. Now we'll click on Device Groups. I'll give this group permission to view one map and that's it. Click on Saved Reports. None, that's what I want. In Dashboard Gadgets, I also want none because they can't view the dashboard anyway. Finally, under Members, I'll add the user account I created. Now I need to edit the guest group because the new user accounts automatically receive guest permissions. I'll just remove the new user from this group. To confirm that this worked, I'll go back to Security and User Accounts, then click on the new user and check their user group membership. So now I'll log in as the new user to see if everything's working as it should. First of all, the language is French, which is a good sign that the settings are working. The default tab upon login is the Map tab, and the routers in this group are all blue because this user does not have permission to see the status of the devices. There's only one green link because this user can't see the others and can't drill down on them to see the reports. This user can click and see the reports for this interface, however. Now navigating to the Status tab, the only interface the user can see is the one that I granted access to. Under the Admin tab, the user can change their personal preferences, but that's it. Multi-tenancy is a very useful feature, especially for service providers and MSPs. As we've seen, you can apply permissions per device in terms of status of the router or switch sending NetFlow, per interface, and per group or map. Personal preferences allow you to change the default language per login, so I can use English while an overseas colleague can use French or Korean, for example. You can also change the default view at login and several other settings, such as the color theme of the UI. If you have any questions about multi-tenancy and scrutinizer, please contact our great support team. They'll be happy to help you.